Okay, so let's look again at this. Um, we're looking at example B. And um, the first thing we want to note is delta X And so we can see that delta x is equal to 2 over n. And we said that this was going to be b minus a over n. So b minus a is equal to 2. Okay, And we can see in this one that a for us is going to be uh, negative 2. OK, let's break this down a little bit. Um, First of all, it looks like f of x is 3x plus 4, okay? And so um, we can see that a sub k is negative 2 plus 2k over n, okay? Remember, to get a sub k, or um, I'm sorry, x sub k, Then we're going to do a plus delta x times k. So the 2 over n is our delta x. We see the k. So that leaves us with a has to be negative 2. All right, so if we know that b minus a equals 2 and a is negative 2, then we get b plus 2 equals 2, or b equals 0. So uh, we're going to have limits of integration going from negative 2 to 0. Okay, we may be able to go ahead and get it here. So we've got the integral from negative 2 to 0. Um, And f of x, we just said, was 3x plus 4 dx. All right. And if you look at this on your uh, calculator, I, it will show us that we get a value of 2. OK. I'll skip for now uh, demonstrating that one on the calculator, and I will do uh, example C on the calculator. I believe there's an example C. Yes. Yes, there it is. Okay, so here's C. And we're looking at uh, the limit as n approaches infinity of the summation of k equals 1 to n of cosine of k pi over 6n times pi over 6n. Okay. Very good. Okay, so again, um, Pause the video, try this one on your own, and come back to it. Um, and once you've done that, tried it on your own, you can also check uh, with the answer key to see what we have. But here's how you would get uh, to the correct answer. Of course, this is our delta x. And so we've got delta x is equal to pi over 6n. Okay, um, or if we needed to, we could write this as pi over 6 times 1 over n, okay? Uh, then we want to identify our function, okay? So our function f of x is equal to cosine x, okay? So we need to know what those x's are, and we got x of k is equal to 6 pi, I'm sorry, k pi over 6n. Okay. 
Okay, so I can see my delta x in there, right? We said that delta x was pi over 6n, and here's pi over 6n. So we got uh, delta x times k. So what's our a value? Uh, because remember, we should have added to this that leftmost, um, well, the left end point of the interval where we're looking for the area. And so it looks like A in this case is zero. All right. And when we come back to our delta X, remember it's going to be B minus A. Um, over N. So in this case, B minus A is actually going to be pi over 6. Okay. All right. B minus A um, over N is equal to delta X. Okay. We could factor off the 1 over N from each of these. So we get pi over 6 times 1 over N. And that's equal to B minus A times 1 over N. Okay, so the 1 over N is canceled. We get that B minus A is equal to pi over 6. But we also just said that A was equal to 0. So that means B is equal to pi over 6. Okay, so we've got our function and we've got our limits of integration, A and B. So we can rewrite this Riemann sum as the integral from 0 to pi over 6 of cosine x dx. All right, um, I'll demonstrate this one on the calculator for us. So we'll do the integral first. Um, so we're going to go to math option. Let's see the 9 or 0. Uh, integration is option 9. Okay, we're going from 0 to pi over 6. Cosine x dx. All right, make sure your calculator is in radian mode, but we get one half. All right, if we want to do this um, using the limit of the Riemann sum, then we're going to go to our y equals, okay, and uh, we're going to do pi over 6n. Or uh, we're going to use x for n to make sure we're following the order of operations, we need to include the entire denominator in parentheses. So uh, 6x, all right. And now I'm ready to do my sum from k equals 1 to x of cosine of k pi over 6n. So alpha k second, we can get the pi key divided by parenthesis 6x, close parenthesis. Okay. All right, so that should be um, our Riemann sum. Okay, so again, we've got pi over 6x, okay, and all that's times the sum of k equals 1 to x of cosine k pi divided by 6x. Okay, so we're ready to try some values. All right, so I'm going to... Start out with a thousand.
and that brings us very close to 0.5. All right, we could continue to try some values, but um, I think that's convincing that these the limit of the Riemann sum is equal to 